uh, as you read my letter last week on Tuesday, I did not indicate why I am apologizing, but I'm here to indicate that or to say this. I was in church and I, uh, I make a mistake by saying that the members of parliament that voted yes, they were bribed with the two million. Honorable Speaker, I'm here to say sorry to the members because I don't have any evidence that they receive money. Uh, Honorable Speaker, those was just a hearsay that I, I had when we was, uh, we was voting during the second reading of finance bill. I urge the members to forgive me and then we move forward for the betterment of this country. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Koimburi. David, Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I just wanted to help uh, Honorable Koimburi to learn how to seek forgiveness. Before you seek forgiveness, you must confess the lie first. So you must confirm first that you lied, that you are dishonest, you lied in church, you lied to the people of Kenya, and put us to great shame. Then after that, after you have confessed, then you can ask for forgiveness. But before that, you cannot just ask for forgiveness. Yes, uh, order. Honorable Wamumbi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Order, Rosa. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, some of us lost properties because Honorable Koiburi lied that we received two million so that we could vote for the finance bill. Mr. Speaker, I'm asking one question. Is Honorable Koiburi ready to go back to the same church and apologize from the same church that he lied? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we must, we must speak the truth and tell each other the truth. Is Honorable Koibori ready to go to the same church and admit on the same pulpit that he's, he lied and he incriminated these members of parliament, Mr. Speaker? Thank you. Honorable Ruku. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, Honorable Koimbori is insincere, even with his apology, is insincere. Even the way, even the way the letter is uh, wanted, Mr. Speaker, um, we have we have lost faith with people of the Republic of Kenya because of the lie of Honorable Koimbori, and I think we should not even call him honourable because he has proved he is not honorable. If he can be able to lie in front of the church that members who voted yes received two million on his feet in front of clergy, then I think, Honorable Speaker, we need to prescribe a very harsh punishment yes. of Honorable Koimbori. And before we do that, we need to do exactly what Honorable um, Deputy Speaker, I say it to prescribe his apology in clear terms so that we can decide whether we are going to forgive him or not. Mr. Speaker, otherwise, as a member who voted yes, I am not ready to forgive Honorable Koimbori for I. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Wangare. Thank you. Order. Thank you. Order, Honorable Members. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, first of all, the apology is tender to the people who voted yes in this yes. house. Yes. And what we have suffered, Mr. Speaker, cannot be even be quantified in a single letter, Mr. Speaker. Many members have been harassed for no reason. And Mr. Speaker, one thing that Honorable Koimbori, and I'm very sad because I knew the father, 
the father is from my constituency. He was a very honest man. I don't know who became of this Honorable Koimbori, Mr. Speaker, because he lied through the teeth in the pulpit, in the pulpit, and with no shame. Mr. Speaker, what we need, even as we go to forgive Honorable Koimbori, we must set a precedent in this house, Mr. Speaker, that you cannot just say things outside there, incriminating members of parliament, incriminating the whole house, Mr. Speaker, and go, get away with it, Mr. Speaker. We must have him pay damages, but more importantly, we must have him taken action against by the Speaker, Powers and Privileges Committee, Mr. Speaker. There must be clear so that next time any member who would like to drag the names of members under the bus to look good, Mr. Speaker, then they will think twice. And Mr. Speaker, one thing Honorable Koimbori must realize, he may have been doing this to look good. By the way, the whole house, one is rotten, all of us will be rotten, including him, Mr. Speaker. So I hope that this will be a lesson, and the precedent that will be set from your desk, Mr. Speaker, will discourage others from going the route that Honorable Koimbori has gone. It is a shame, and he should be ashamed of himself. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Owen Bayer. Honorable Speaker, you know, Honorable Speaker, I come from a priestly lineage. And uh, the Bible is very clear that forgiveness is divine. Now, if the forgiveness is divine, upon uh, seeking for it, we are obliged that we forgive. And uh, Honorable Speaker, in Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky, he says that sometimes... Punishment may not be the execution of the crime, but more importantly, it is that the person, I'm sure, Orbo Kiyomburi, within the time that he has lived with his guilty, he has atoned his sins. And because he has atoned his sin, and that forgiveness is divine, I personally forgive him and request this house to forgive him. I thank you, Orbo Speak. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Indeed, it is regrettable uh, what has been going around, but I also want to congratulate the Honorable Member for being a gentleman and apologizing. We have more important business to work on, and uh, just to my brother, like Ruku, there are more atrocities that have been committed in this house, including taking people's signatures and we don't know where you took them. That was more serious. So, Honorable Speaker, yes, the Honorable Member made a mistake. He to has owned up Wamboka, the mistake and apologized. Wamboka, Thank you, Honorable Member. Two wrongs don't make a right. Forgive him and proceed, Honorable Speaker. We have more important business for this house. Kenyans are watching at us. Mr. Speaker, let's rest this matter. Asante sana, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, thank you for this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, the standing orders of this House does not describe what an apology should look like in this House. The Honorable Member has actually apologized. Mr. Speaker, it doesn't matter if he got the figures wrong or if he got the facts wrong, but he's apologized. And on that note, Mr. Speaker, I think the onus is on us to forgive him as a house. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.